This is called an Ender 3 something. I actually am not sure. <laughs> so today I'm gonna attempt to fix my buddy's 3D printer even though I've never used this one before. This is an Ender 3 S1 Plus. I still don't really know what that means but doesn't matter that much. Let's plug it in. So I'm going to start by loading the filament and preheating the hot end. And so that will bring the nozzle temperature to 215 degrees. Pull back on the lever, push until you can't push it any further. So now that I know that the plastic can pass through properly, the heating elements do actually seem to be working, I'm going to go ahead and try to level the bed. I'm just going to add a little bit of tension, just making sure that they're even on all four corners. Then I move to each corner, bringing the hot end within one millimeter of the build plate. I do enjoy using a piece of paper to better feel for this distance. So now that I feel confident the bed is actually level, I can run the auto level. And then it should be just about good for printing. So here is the issue with this 3D printer. Essentially, you hit print, everything's good to go, everything is level, the print head homes, and it doesn't print. There's no warning on the screen, so that would lead me to believe it's either an SD card error, a G-code error, or something's maybe not connected correctly, or maybe the X-axis stopper is not engaging. I have a couple things to check on. Hmm. I wonder, is everything up to temperature? Oh, there are some bent pins in there. So now that I've straightened out a couple of pins, reseated the ribbon cable, let's see if that fix makes any difference. It hasn't done that before. It might actually work. If you've been thinking about getting a 3D printer, let me just tell you that 3D printing has gotten a lot easier with printers like the Bamboo Lab P1P. That is my preferred printer, and I have yet to do a major repair on it, so issues like this rarely happen. And it self-levels. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to buy a printer like this unless you want to learn the fundamentals, which I also support. Because ultimately, if your P1P breaks, you're going to have to learn a lot to get that fixed. So there's an Ender 3, and there's an S1 and a, no, is there an S2? But there's an S1 plus, so is there an S2 plus? How many Enders are there? How many Ender 3s are there? Is there an Ender 4? Look, just buy a 3D printer. 